is Dusko Maka Aesthetic Gamer, and this is White Wall. There was no title screen in this game, this is literally the screen it opened up with, and I was kind of staring into a corner. We're gonna kind of go straight into this and see why the music sounds so ominous. It actually kind of looks like one of those pixely games. Only It's not like pixely as in retro 2D graphic style pixely. I mean like they have a compressed video feed, which I've always liked as an effect. I think it'd be used to good effect. Though I can't jump. Can I run? I cannot run, so it seems it's moving, and hopefully if there's a button to interact with things, I'll figure it out. I hope it's not click. It's click, okay, because the reason why I'm saying this is one of those games where the mouse doesn't stay inside the game screen, so I might be clicking out of the window sometimes. That's okay, though. Kind of really like the... even though the music's kind of that falling sort, um, I kind of already like the basic setup. It seems like there's three different directions to go, and I'll go to the left first. Hello, left door. It kind of looks like it might be one of those games where you kind of wander from hall to hall until things happen. Which is fine by me. I'm, I, this is the, I should mention this, and this is going to go into the YouTube recording. I'm playing a lot of indie horror games. This is literally the first one I'm playing of the night. So I'm sort of getting readjusted to the indie horror scene. There's paintings and other things, and I'm going to try out this door. So the doors don't close behind you, so these actually are like different areas. What's behind the room where I started? Notably, that was a different door opening sound. I was mainly curious what would have been behind the room I started in. This seems to be almost like a dining hall. Do you think something's chasing us, or do you think that we're just supposed to find something? Like maybe something's coming through all the doors I opened up or something. It's a thought. Or maybe there'll be something behind one of the doors I eventually open. It almost makes me look, think because of how the tables are designed that everyone's like playing some game of greater chess with each other. <clears throat> I like how some of the doors have different pitch sounds, it doesn't really affect anything, but it's kind of interesting. Well, that's a bit different. Chairs got all stylized and decided to make a spiky tower. Now it's knocking tables over. Uh oh. Am I to assume I don't want to find what's making that sound? You know, I'm going to find what's making that sound. Sure, what's making the sound? What are you? Whatever it is, it's definitely looking at me. You got a picture next to you, do I touch you? Let me tell you a story, it even turns with me this way. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> February. Franz, an elderly bachelor, arrives home. He halts. His living room has been destroyed. Two albastroberg globes skitter across his opposite obsidian floor, clacking harshly with boundless energy. They careen from wall to ceiling, missing narrowly his face. Oh boy. He uses his coat to capture them, still thrumming and grumps them, I don't know why I cannot read right now, and dumps them into a wardrobe. In the inky black, they shudder and turn. Two glistening orbs plead with France from the depths of prison. White cloud, moon white mine. Okay, sorry, that, I, for a second I thought they were saying there because of the tables. It surprised me a little bit, I admit. White clown, moon white mine, angel of death, holy shroud. It takes shape within the black hole from formless without a foil. It is not an envelope, but the seeing lens, frame or screen. Vision resolves into sight. The face ghastly, it is order itself. Now I'm going to some place. So I restart from where I... Be no, this is not where I began. At least now there's an intergalactic wall as the white walls are peeling away to reveal either static or space or something. I'm going to assume it's static. And now all of the white walls are peeling. And also, notably, the doors I previously opened are still open, which is a nice touch. I guess I'm gonna go this way. Hmm, I'm actually intrigued by this game so far. And now there is some behind some of the white frames and other pictures. There are other pictures beneath the pictures that were there before. What they're fully revealing, I don't know yet. I'm just gonna kind of go straight right now. Let's see. Huh. To say the very least, I am intrigued. More than that, it's a little spooky. Not, not like all out tremendously spooky, but it, it, it's a bit weird. And weird, the fear of the unknown, can certainly be something that can strike a sense of curiosity, a thing that makes you like a dumb horror protagonist where you decide, let's keep on going forward and see what happens. Because this isn't exactly what your realm of expectancy was to say. This game was called White Walls, so I guess the White Walls falling off is also kind of important. Let's continue our examination. I'm kind of 
going in a loop right now. I'm aware I'm going to end up in a loop if I continue this direction. But I am mainly seeing what happens if I open up more of these doors and eventually come to another path I've already been on. Part of me is curious if eventually I'm going to run into something that will start chasing me throughout these different doors I've been opening. I think I found the next one. Hi! You look pretty creepy too. What's this? I didn't even get to talk to him. Well, the walls aren't any better. I don't know what the white thing I picked up was. Maybe I should have listened to a story he had to share. Let me go back down the path I followed. I'm not going to take a different path yet. I'm actually going to follow the same path. Maybe if I open up this door, I'll come upon where I was before. It was a thought, but so far it doesn't seem to be contributing much. Here we go. Alright. In fact, I think more of the walls are contaminated, quote-unquote, with the static than there was before. At least that's what it definitely looks like. So yeah, I... I kept on going this way, so let's see what this way is actually leading me to. Did you say anything before? No. Notably, those creatures don't disappear once they've done their thing. Hmm. So they stay there, even once you've done your magic. Alright, so it's kind of because the doors stay open, which is, again, I'm happy. It makes it easier to know where you've been and where you can go where you haven't been before. Okay, so I've been in here, but I was not over here specifically. Certainly not. I'm going to go this way, because I think I'm going to end up in a place I was previously if I go this direction. That's actually one of the pictures I saw being revealed in another room. It's just kind of sitting here on this chair in this room, though. Let's see... There's another picture something over there. What is that? I can't tell. It's a little bit too abstract for me. Hmm... If I was wandering a facility like this, I'd probably be the same idiot opening up all these doors. So I, keeping the doors open is probably a good idea, unless, of course, something was chasing me. Which I still cannot... I don't. Even, this probably isn't even a chaser game. If it is, then whatever. But it seems like this sort of setup, which would be interesting to explore in a chaser scenario. And I just look back to the very beginning, the first room of them all. Okay, what about if I go this direction? So I looped over that way. Might as well explore this ween one over here. Even if it loops me back to a place I'm expecting to go to. Hmm. Okay. Let me see if I can get back to where I just was. I think over here will actually lead me back to it. Or at least closer to it. Yeah, here we go. This is the beginning room. Now I'll turn this direction to go a, a different way, because I'm assuming I'm trying to find these guys that make the weird ringing sound. They seem important, maybe, obviously. Eventually I bet this gonna turn into a game of me having to find doors I haven't opened. Was there a deeper drone sound there? Was that my imagination? Am I going mad, or is this simply a mad world of which I am the only sane one sort of deal? That area's been straight up blockaded. Alright, how about over here? There's that picture again. I don't know why it was being revealed on one of the walls. This was just like some detail that was going to be revealed there. This seems to be a different section than I've explored so far, so that's a good sign. Good sign in terms of me trying to get someplace. And I don't think it's going to open tables to be on the ceiling, but what do I know? What even are these? Like, oh, they're chairs. I thought they were spikes for a second, but they're designed like spikes, but they're the table stool things. Can I walk on top of this? Yes, I can. You can even see some of them poking out from this side. Hmm. This sector seems more abstract in how it does its furniture than the other areas so far. I do recognize the fallen chairs off to the side, though. I guess I'll leave this direction. That's a very different stack. Now my screen just got staticky when I was close to it. I don't consider this a good thing. Is that the chaser I need to be wary of? Why did my screen get super staticky when I got closer to it? Let me try again. See? What 
whatever it is is making my screen static can I consider it? that's probably not a good thing all right so th that was a different sound anyway so it must be something I haven't encountered yet and I've looped back around here I should go back a few steps side of that furniture thing. Oh, you can close doors behind you. I haven't tried that yet, but you can, which is interesting. How about over here? I guess there's only one area here to go through. It loops me back to room. I've been through every other door, so I might as well not do that. I'll continue going forward, only because I kind of don't want to encounter whoever is making that noise. It doesn't seem like I've been through these type of rooms, but I have been through here. Go forward right now. I'll take another turn in a little bit because I'm gonna end up here again. <laughs> oh dear. I think I'm gonna run into this room series in a little bit. I swear to god, just sort of click. They are doing well in making the sound design slowly make me feel more oppressed. Well, I guess I'm gonna try and locate whatever was making that sound. Maybe I should stick close to that sound. Maybe it's good for me. Maybe not. Well, I definitely haven't been here. That everyone seems prepared for whatever game that is. I still think it looks like chess to me. Through this door, that door. Oh dear, I don't know. Left or right? I guess the left will make me go in a circle. So I'll start with that one. Huh? I did go in a circle. Okay. To break the mold of circles, then I'll go this way. There we go. I found another one finally. Wait, have I met this one before? Yeah, this is the one I started, this is the first one I met, actually. That's why the door over there is open. Hmm. So I actually just went in a gigantic loop. Now this is where things get harder. I need to start determining what doors I have not been through and try and find new areas. That was actually the first one I had located, so still though. Turn stuff about. Check and check. Where oh where? Hmm. Where oh where? Am I gonna try and find a new door from? I think I'm almost back to the beginning room. Now that I've been through every door per se, that at least I found the dead end. I need to find the few doors I haven't been through. Try and find the difference, basically. Unfortunately, I don't know where to begin with that. I'll try and take turns, which I feel like I haven't taken. But I guess I need to... I found myself back to you? Okay, I just went in a gigantic circle. God damn it. Okay, let's try going this way. Break the mold. I know not to turn that way. It's very rarely I go in circles like that. Definitely threw me off. I think it's because how the corridors work partially. I'll go this way. I'm gonna stick to this outer wall for the moment. Oh, I haven't been through here. I think this actually leads to the thing that made the sound I was hearing earlier, which may not be a pleasant sound, but you know, it's something. Kind of just going straight to see if there's any doors I haven't been through, but it seems like I was through every one. So let's go up a layer. This is pretty close, I think, to where I heard the sound earlier, which is even though I'm a little bit nervous about it, I think I should seek it out. There it is. So while that sound does sound unpleasant, it seems like something I should work towards. Maybe I should just stick against that wall and eventually see what happens. Here's the door that leads to it. I haven't been through here yet. Oh. Yeah, it's not a nice one. God damn it. Uh-oh. Oh dear. Because that thing could be wandering these halls now. It can't go through doors, I don't think, though. Now, where did I get there from? I didn't get to pick up the thing. That's the problem. It's like I need to go back and get it. Now, 
didn't see an activate till I got close to it, so maybe it's not just wandering the halls. And I, okay. Oh, actually, there it is. So yeah, it is just wandering the halls now. In fact, it's pretty close. Oh dear. I could trap it, couldn't I? Let's see what happens if I try trapping it. We'll open the door. Try and lock it in, but it might catch me while I try doing this. Okay. That did somewhat scare me, but I did it. Unless, of course, there's another entrance I'm not aware of, which I'm looking for right now. Yep, that's what I expected! Sorry, it scared me. Okay, that thing does somewhat scare me, I'm not gonna lie. What if I let it to you? Closed off all the entrances to that area. Hopefully. Now, hopefully, I did. And hopefully, that's not where I needed to go anyway. It could be in there where I need to go. So, that thing can't open doors, though. It's a weakness that that thing apparently has. Oh dear, I don't want to close any more doors, and no, I just have to keep in mind what's around that area. Hmm. But where was that? I wish I just picked up the white thing while I was in the neighborhood. What I'm worried about is that I have closed myself off from obtaining the thing which I was trying to get. Maybe I didn't lead it far enough away from where it was. If I can find the place with the tables, then I can maybe... The, the door that's blocked off by a table, I mean. By... Oh, actually, I actually think that's it. But I'm on the opposite side. How do I get there? Hopefully it's not again in the area where I closed off the thing. Actually, it was a room that was kind of like this, wasn't it? Not exactly this room, though. Here we go, I found it. Now a room with literally nothing but white walls. They have an interesting texture to them. Oh. There is a hidden something or another. I think over there. I could just be wrong. Maybe it's just that the texture unloaded when I went to the opposite side. Maybe I think it was just the texture. Yep. But why would they make such a glaring texture issue? We brought ourselves to a white wall. Congratulations. Maybe so, maybe yes. Uh, maybe we need to maybe you need to do something for going in that room. Well no, I was just getting to this. I'm not crazy. There is there's something here, there's like a number. I thought I saw something when I was crossing, but now that I'm paying attention. There is actually something on the outskirts you can just barely see. like letters or numbers or something. Hmm. What is it saying though? I was thought I was crazy when I thought I spotted that earlier, but no, that's definitely there. One. I don't think adjusting the gamma would help when it's the same color as other things. Let's see, I 
think it's also backwards. Nick, Eric, Tyler, and Steve. I think so too. Okay, so this might just be. Maybe it's just a room full of credits, but you can't see. You barely see the credits. They're in white letters. Well, I'm going to assume because those were just names that this might be the end of the game. Well, I guess I'll say that's it for White Wall. We even found the hidden credits, <laughs> if that's actually what that was. Until next time, adieu to all of you. Oh, geez, I gotta get out.